So when we look at the gas law problem here, they're asking for the number of moles. So it's probably going to be the ideal gas law here, PB equals NRT. And we don't have an initial and a final. We're just kind of given these conditions here for a gas kind of at a particular point in time where we want to find the number of moles. So combine gas law for this problem. Let's do it. So when we look at P, we've got a pressure here. That's our atmospheres. We have a volume that is this 550 milliliters, and we're going to need to change that to liters. I'll show you why in a minute. We have a temperature here that's 25 degrees Celsius. We'll need to change that to Kelvin. And then the moles, we don't know what the moles are. That's what we want to find. Since our pressure, our pressure is in atmospheres, this is the value that we'll use for R here. You can see we have atmospheres here, and right there in R we have atmospheres. So we know this is the correct value of R to use. Since we have moles to the negative 1 and Kelvin degrees to the negative 1, we can just move this here down to the denominator. So we end up with this, a little bit easier to work with when we try to cancel units out. Let's plug everything into the equation. First though, to get from milliliters to liters, we're going to divide this by 1,000 because we have a thousand milliliters and one liter. So when we divide milliliters cancel out, we'll get our liters. And then over here to get from Celsius to Kelvin, we add our degree Celsius to 273.15. That's gonna give us 298.15 Kelvin. And you can see we have Kelvin here. So we have to have degrees Kelvin over this side. And here we have liters in our unit. So we have to have liters here that we're working with. So that's why we convert those. Let's plug everything in and then solve. So to get n by itself, let's just move all of this over here. Essentially, we're just dividing both sides by this so it cancels out. Now, if we look at the units here, we have atmospheres here and here, liters here and here, and then Kelvin here and here. So we're gonna be left with moles. So we can just multiply the top and then multiply the bottom and then divide the numerator by the denominator, we end up with 0 0.027 moles. So that's it. The key is make sure the value for R, since we have ATM, this is the value we'll use, and then make sure you have Kelvin as your degrees and then liters as your volume. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.